I'm sorry, Taiwan. I misunderstood you. Even though I'm from England, half of my family is from Asia and I thought I understood everything there is to know about Asian culture and I thought I would understand Taiwan too. But there are a few things where I misunderstood and I took things the wrong way. So today we're going to talk about five things I misunderstood about Taiwan. When you walk into a convenience store, you'll often hear this. When I didn't speak any Chinese and I walked into a 7-Eleven and they said this to me, I honestly thought they were saying to me, morning, morning. And I know I'm not the only person who said this because I've been with a lot of non-Taiwanese people who have then asked me, why are they saying morning? It's evening. I even have one friend who would try and correct them and say, no, 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 it's afternoon. And clearly there was just a big misunderstanding. She thought that they were just trying to greet her and use morning incorrectly. Whereas actually they were speaking Chinese. The second thing is in Taiwanese culture, the closer you are to someone, the less polite you have to be. And I didn't know this. So when I was dating my girlfriend, who's now my wife, we were obviously quite close and she used to say two things to me in Chinese which I misunderstood as being rude. For example, one day she told me and I was thinking where's the please? And of course I brought this up to her and she explained to me if you use all these politeness and thank yous and please and could you, it's how you treat strangers and it's how you treat people you don't know and if you do it to people you do know it creates distance between you. So with people you do know, especially your own family i find that taiwanese people are a lot more direct and whereas with a stranger you will say oh excuse me could i just get past with your own brother you will say oi move so i've come to realize now taiwanese people aren't rude to me they're actually the opposite they're in fact showing how close they are to me by being very direct and now i can appreciate that and appreciate the efficiency the third one is asking a lot of questions have you finished work have you showered have you eaten yet what did you eat where are you going like most westerners i stopped living with my parents from quite a young age i haven't been asked this kind of question for a long time and to suddenly being asked all these questions just feels like i'm living back at home again like your parents nagging you. I've gotten used to this now and obviously I know it's just a way of showing they care about you, showing they're interested in your life and it's just a sign of respect. If they didn't care about me they wouldn't ask me any questions at all. The fourth one is knocking on toilet doors. Now in Taiwan before you go in the toilets it's quite normal to knock on a door to check if anyone's there. Maybe they didn't lock the doors, maybe the lock is broke or maybe there's some other reason. But in England knocking on the door means hurry up you're taking too long. I really need to go to the bathroom now quickly please so i didn't know this and i went to a restaurant and i was in the toilet for not even 10 seconds and someone knocked on the door and i'm thinking hold on i've literally just got into the toilet why are you knocking the door telling me to hurry up how rude is that and i remember being quite frustrated and i told my friend in the restaurant i've just been in the toilet for literally half a minute already someone's knocking on the door i don't understand and my friend explained to me now in taiwan we do this to check there's someone in there it's got nothing to do with how long you've been there they're not telling you to hurry up they're literally just checking and all you have to do is just knock back or just say there's someone here and that's it there's absolutely no malicious intent and after that I got used to it very quickly in fact I do it myself now just in case this is one I was actually reminded from another youtuber called Amy in one nine nice so if you want to see some other cultural differences like this go check out her video the last one is being called mix breed if you don't know what this sounds like this sounds like a kind of dog like a mixed breed of dog and occasionally people whose english might not be perfect would ask me are you mixed breed and i'm thinking they're like I i'm not an animal i'm not a dog like asking me this question in this kind of way just felt really rude and unsettling to me afterwards i came to realize just like many things that non-native english speakers might say it's purely accident and it's just a bad translation actually they should use something like mixed race which is much more appropriate and it sounds like a person and it doesn't sound like an animal so i just want to say sorry taiwan sorry i misunderstood i understand it all now if you enjoyed the video don't forget to hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and i'll catch you guys next time bye <laughs>